Hey everybody, about six weeks ago, we took a look at this back test. This is a six, seven double calendar. And the video that we did came out in the middle of June. And basically the thesis of the video was that this test, which is a kind of an old chestnut in the option Omega community, it was featured in the 2022 back tests of the year, had had a really long plateau. So from about Halloween, October to roughly April, so about six months, it was in essentially flat to uh, a drawdown that was not insignificant. And since it is a six, seven, the volume of days that it had to back test were pretty slim until daily options on SPX came available, which was in May of 2022. So this is essentially the life of the back test. You can, of course, test it farther and find some occasional Thursday, Friday expirations, but there's not a lot. And again, a reminder, we put this back test on on Friday afternoons before market close and the expirations you are selling the Thursday, buying the Friday. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to update the back test and see how it's done since we made the video. So about six weeks, we're going to take a look at it. And so let's take a look and see how the back test is doing or has done at least the last six weeks has continued to do on the whole pretty well. You have a drawdown at the end of June, but overall on the whole, it looks like it has won most weeks. The way we have this back test set up right now, it has a pretty significant profit target of 50%. And as you can see several times right at market open, it is hitting that. So on the whole has done pretty decently. What we're going to look at with this video is the double calendar structure and a way to maybe tweak this back test a little bit and add some enhancements. And what I'm doing now is I am using option strat and option strat is a modeling tool. Today is Wednesday, July 31st. I have the back test selected that the trade would have taken on July 26th. So because we're in a higher VIX environment than we've seen in quite some time, we are looking at a 210 wide double calendar, which is significantly wider than it's been for quite some time. And basically what I just want to show is this structure here. So we have two peaks. So we've got a green peak here. We have a green peak here. Here are the calls. Here are the puts. As you can see, the market right now is 55.20 ish and our calls are at 55.40. So you'll hear these referred to as the profit tent. And what typically you want with a double calendar is you want as close to expiry of the short leg as possible. You want the price to be near one of the tent pegs or near one of the tent poles. And if you move significantly past that either direction, you will be in a rough spot. And also, and this is more important in Hyvix, you can have a tent side condition where the tent will collapse. So if you ended up in the middle, say a hundred points from either strike, you would have a crushing and you would have a bad experience. So. That is just a visualization of how DCs work. Let's go back to the back tester. Now that we have looked at how DCs work, we're going to do something that was not in the original back test. We're going to add rails. So there are a couple ways you can add rails. And when I say rails, I mean an upper bound and a lower bound for the back test to exit. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in the exit conditions and we're going to choose use underlying price movement. And we're going to exit when the short put and the short call are past the strike. So you can do this with points or percent. And so let's use percent and we're just going to do, let's start out with the percent. We'll play around with it a little bit. So I'm just going to do minus 1%. And just to clarify, if I did 1%, that would be a positive number. So it would get you out of the trade in the back test when you approached 1% away. Since we're going past, we want to make it a negative percent. And as you can see, that was an improvement in our MAR. So let's go back and let's compare. You can click on this right here, the recent test runs and easily compare metrics. So basically what happened is our MAR went up because the drawdown did what you would expect, which is the drawdown went down by a, a goodly amount, it went from almost 12 to a little over 10. And your CAGR 
was actually lower. So your, your ending capital was lower, but you got a higher premium capture rate. You got a lower win rate. And so probably there were tests that experienced some mean reversion. So in this original one, they could have gone past and then come back closer to the profit tent. But in general, there's a couple different metrics. In general, people prefer to trade higher MAR. And the thing is, is we can play around with how far to go. Maybe, and they don't have to be equal distance. So let's say in a short call scenario, because we're 20 delta away either, we want to get a little more aggressive. So we could do half a percent. I don't know if this is going to make it better or worse. But this would also probably help you as vol is crushing as you get past the upward call strike. And that is the best one we found. So again, let's look at the recent test runs. So your drawdown got even better. Your capital is not quite the same, but it's, it's getting close. Okay, let's get more aggressive. Let's do a half a percent in each direction. And so 12 and a half mar. Again, the mar is a function of the CAGR and the drawdown. So there may be people who prefer a higher CAGR and they're willing to take a bigger drawdown. In general, most people use mar as a handy comparison. So that's not quite as good. Again, we can mix and match. Um, we could do a little bit more on the put, maybe give it a little more room to run. Still not as good. So, I mean, we can play around with this and we're gonna do another video on some other ways to add rails because there is an, there are other ways and there's one extremely common way using delta exits that also adds rails to the back test. For now, we're gonna look at this. So, you again, I will put a link of this updated version here. Um, as you can see, this back test, I would say in the OO community, they are, the six sevens are got kind of got benched for a while by a lot of people and now kind of are back in the game. So as a reminder, if you're interested in double calendars or back testing in general, the option Omega Discord community, it's totally free. Most of the channels are verified for subscribers only, but you can jump on and check it out. I will put a link in the description again, and we will again come back to this back test. So we are going to save it and I will post this. I'm going to call it the uh, modded back test and we're going to just give it a 731 date. So I'll put the link in the description and have fun playing with it. As always, be inspired. These back tests are a starting point. Feel free to take them and go nuts. Thanks.